Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Hi. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use advanced charts. So far, we managed to produce some statistics about a data set under investigation. We extracted some of the statistics as data and we plotted uh, different attribute distributions as histograms. We investigated the distribution of values. Uh, there's a lot more statistical plots which are very useful and they're not available in Rapid Miner. One of them is a cumulative distribution chart, which allows us to look at the steepness of the growth of values along uh, the range of possible values in a distribution. Okay, let's run this process. Let's look at possible charts. We have lots of charts available to us. One is distribution. None of them is a cumulative distribution chart. So what we have to do is to create one run of our own using advanced charts. What we're going to do is to plot the final result of the examination of all students against itself. It doesn't look like it's a very exciting thing to do. I'm going to make solid lines. Uh, it simply says everything is distributed along the line, which is true. However, what we're going to do is to aggregate those values simply by counting them in unique bins. Or in, in by default, we have five bins. We miss four, 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 four possible values from 0 to 20. Um, we have 20 possible values, so let's change the bin count and configure that to 20. What we see now is basically what we saw before. We got a histogram. A sort of a histogram and we can also use categorical or nominal variable to split the histogram into three depending on the values unique values in guardian variable here for father mother and other that is just a histogram um, now what we want is a cumulative distribution chart which means that instead of simply plotting the value the number of items in that bin, we would like to add that value to the previous value on the left. And this way we can see how the distribution of values bin by bin actually accumulates across the range of possible values. That can be achieved in Rapid Miner by using a windowing parameter in which we could say, don't plot it simply first grab the value on the left and add it its value to it and then put the dot on the plot now we have a cumulative distribution chart there's one problem with this chart and that is that the individual um, plots are not directly comparable and that's because the total number of all observations within each category is different and so we can't actually compare the steepness of those lines one against the other. What we would have to do is to create a so-called cumulative relative distribution chart that means have the possible y range not to be the count of G3 but having the count which is uh, scaled to 0, 1 or 100 percent. And that means those lines would be directly comparable one against the other. And we'll do that in the next lesson.